DJ Telly Tales, DJ Telly Tales, Six Sunrises, Six Sunrises, DJ Telly Tales, DJ Telly Tales, DJ Christian and not live as though live as such. You can't be half here and half there. No. If you're going to be a Christian, do those things that are pleasing unto God and make sure you're ministering to people to make sure that they can be saved. So that way when it's judgment day, your time to come, your name will be on the book. Okay? So yeah. But she gave us a gift. We gave me a gift card. So we're going to use this gift card today to go to get something to eat. We are debating between... Olive Garden, Longhorns, or Red Lobster. I don't really want Red Lobster. I kind of want a steak. I kind of do want seafood. Kayla the make going to have a crab boil. I'm going to cook a crab boil, but yeah. I told the next time they better be invited. We had so much fun yesterday. Oh my God. And somebody else was like, oh, we, yeah, we, we, they ain't been on double date with us. I'm sorry. That'd be a new series, Double Day with the, with TT Party of Six. Yeah. Hey, that might be coming out. That might be. Yeah, that might come out for you. One, two, we gotta go. Three. Ride around in our city. Ride around and get it in our city. So, let's go eat. So we decided to go to Longhorns. Can y'all see that there? So thank you. Far above. Rubies. Let's get it. Let's go. Y'all, why is it always packed when we go to Longhorn? It's like everybody, look at that. All these cars out here, like, what the freak are you thinking? I know they ain't giving away no food. But let's see what we finna eat and eat. Grubby grub. Let me see. Let me see the dog. Oh, daddy be the dog. Who would be the dog? Daddy, you may be a dog. Mm. A dog, a dog do this. Arf, 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 arf. Hey, what, Daddy? This looks like it's the best, the best thing going. Right? 
You have a woman. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Steak dinner. Eddie. Daddy. Oh, I think it's the best choice. Two. Oh, let me. 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 Let Kids meal. Hmm. <laughs> what you gonna get off that kids meal? <laughs> kids meal, right? Oh, no, right? no. no. Right. What are you gonna eat? Let's see what you got. You got macaroni and cheese. They don't have, they don't have, um, real cheese, no. Daddy, you don't, they don't look, have no more cheese. Look, they got macaroni and cheese. Yeah, real chicken, chicken tenders, tenders, cheeseburger. Chicken tenders. Or steak. Or steak. They all have two this. cheeseburgers. Get a cheeseburger. All right, two. what kind of side you want on it? Huh? Yeah. Macaroni and cheese. Fish fries? Yeah. Okay. Macaroni and cheese over here. What you mean? I don't know, I'm just trying to decide. I'm thinking about it. Steak dinner. Steak dinner? Yeah. It does look good, but I would upgrade it. Only if I just like them soups. I don't know about them soups. I just opened it! Yeah, and this right here is beer, bread, and cheese curds. Let me I don't know see. about that either. Yeah, I don't know about that either. I, I don't think it look good is the chili cheese fries and the spicy and chicken bites to go have. with it. Mmm. 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 The mother and all her boys. <laughs> We didn't eat from Longhorns. We had bread. Bread. The kids, they had their kids' meals. But I refuse to pay for service because I understand I'm getting a meal out of what by coming here. Yeah. But at the same time, I refuse to pay for yeah, service. Yeah. If you're not going to be a good server and make sure that you're tending to all the tables that you have, pretty much this lady at Longhorns. We sat down. First thing we said was, you know, hey, can you give us a bread? Apparently, we are starving. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. So, I'm hungry. So, we sit down and, you know, she bring the bread out or whatever. And then, first thing, Anthony dropped a soda. So, he dropped a soda. Then, my husband, his his soda got, like, his sweet tea went down low. So, she brought the um the soda back for little Anthony. But then, she didn't bring back the, um, what did she bring back? The straw. Oh, she didn't bring back the sweet tea. Or the straw. We had to um, catch her in a the, in the cross path of trying to stop her and say, hey, can you bring us some more bread? Like, hey, bro. Long story short, we sat, I sat there and watched this lady. Mind you, we are black. We're African-American. It was two white couples behind us. This lady went up to them at least six to ten times in a time of us sitting down. Like, I understand that you're busy, and I don't know if she already got that stare to like, we're, running, we're not going to tip. I'm an excellent tipper. Anthony hates the way that I tip because he feel like I over tip. I feel like I understand this is your job, so therefore we're gonna all burn. This is what you were paying for. We're paying for a service, yes. So this lady walked past us, and, I, and I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna. Anthony was like, don't say. Do you want to say something? Normally I would have been saying something, but this time around I try not. To. Okay, sorry. But what was I saying? I don't know. I think I was okay. But I feel like, you know what, if you're going to provide a service, you need to make sure that you're able to do it. Like, I understand that it's Sunday. It wasn't even that busy because it's, what, almost 6 o'clock. The church folks that came, ate their food, they gone. I understand if we were on your case a hundred times or whatever the case might be, then you know what? Then I can understand why you would bypass us. But we weren't. We had to get this lady attention. So one, I told my husband, the, the manager, he was like, is there anything I can do to make it better? By that, oh, this was what really got me to get up and leave. Because I was um, going to be fine or whatever. So the, we, we seen the manager or whatever. And he went to go get my husband's sweet tea and the straw for my son. 
And then the, the waitress came back. And she was like, is everything okay? I said, no. I'm like, no, it's not okay. Because I just kind of feel like we're not getting the services that we should be getting. Like, you done passed us a hundred times. And we had to ask the, your boss, pretty much another guy, to bring my husband's lemonade. Sweet tea out. She did not say sorry. This is the part that got me. Like, one of the things I, I learned from Com Comcast, like, even if I don't like it, it is called being empathetic. You have to show empathy. There was no empathy at all. None whatsoever. So I told my husband, as soon as she didn't say sorry, boo, let's go. Mm -mm. Let's go. Because and it wasn't going to get any better for me then or there. And then I didn't know what you're going to do to my food. So no, it wasn't a matter. And the manager's like, well, I can get him to bring your food out faster. No, it's not the food. I don't care about the food. I care about the service. It's the service. Like I'm paying for the service. I'm not paying for nothing else but the service. The food, okay, yeah, I could, I could probably go home and cook it, to be honest. Go home and cook the dang on steak and freaking parmesan crusty chicken. I care about service. So, people out there in the industry where you provide a service, I recommend that you make sure that it's coming out from the purest of your, your hearts and that you understand or empathy or whatever. You having a bad day, you having a bad day. Maybe because I just feel like it was kind of like a race car and I hate to throw that out there, but I do feel like it was a little race plate in there. Like two people behind us, they were happy to be a white couple. White, but what? What is it? What is it? Y'all, pray my strength to the Lord. I did not go crazy, thank you, Jesus. But I really wanted to just just what's out now and just get on here and let you guys know that we didn't even get to eat our little long corns. And don't think that I'm not gonna call the corporate office. I'm calling the corporate office first thing tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. when I get up. I'm calling the corporate office because you know what? You're dead freaking wrong. I don't want nothing from this, from your company. I don't want anything. I want them to understand. Make this a training opportunity so this doesn't happen again. <sighs> then y'all wonder why people don't tip. Then y'all wonder why. Because I did not want to not tip. But now, I guess we're just going to go to Olive Garden and enjoy food there and the services. <laughs> lighting was off we're gonna try this again and we're going to eat up Olive Garden so, here we go morning boy we already did all that so, here we go <laughs> Olive Garden So we just we just sat down and the service is better already. They done told us the waitress walked right past us. No, wait, he walked right past us and I told us you're gonna be right way with us. We just sat down. Service. 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 What you think, B? I'm ready for the green. <laughs> Bring on the good bread and service, please. <laughs> Olive Garden was a success. Shout out to the waiter Will. He was lit. He was fine. Mm -hmm. We are going to get ready for bed because we got work tomorrow. I got to be up at 7 in the morning. And unfortunately, this guy doesn't have to go to work until 6 p.m. So, we're going to go ahead and hit the vlog. In the vlog here, we'll see you guys another day. Have a great week. Yes. And enjoy yourself. Blessings to everyone. And get ready. Because we're going to be vlogging back to back. Back to back. Yeah. Mm. So, from TT Party of Six, good night, world. Good night, world. <laughs>